Instead of playing G minor like this, try this. Now, so far what I've been doing in this series of lessons is use the harmonized major scale as my starting point. The idea has been to use the seven triads inside the scale and superimpose it over the chord that I'm playing. So now, for this example, I'm going to play over G minor. And G minor can be either the two chord, the three chord, or the six chord. I'm going to play over the two chord, so G minor is going to be the two chord in the key of F. So here's a good practice to find all your triads in the key of F. So the first thing I'm going to do is to pick a set of strings, in this case strings two, three, and four. Then I want to find the one chord in all their inversions, meaning root position, first inversion, and second inversion. Then what I want to do is harmonize the major scale. For this example, I'm going to use the root position triad. So I got the one chord F major, two chord G minor, three chord A minor, four chord B flat major, five chord C major, six chord D minor, seven chord E diminished, and back to the one chord F major. Now you want to do the same with first inversion and second inversion. So now for this example, G minor, the first thing I want to do is make this minor triad a seven chord. Now, to make a minor 7 chord, you can either learn the shapes or you can just use the triads. So what I do is this. I have the 2 chord that is G minor. I'm going to skip one chord that is going to be the 3 chord. And I'm going to play the 4 chord that is B flat major. I'm just going to put the bass back on G and I got a G minor 7. Now, for this example, I'm going to use this B flat major. First inversion with the bass on G, G minor 7. So then after playing the 4 chord B flat major, I'm going to go to the 1 chord F major. Now, F major with the bass on G, I'm going to have some nice notes here. I got the root, I got the 4 or the 11, I got the flat 7, and I got the 9. A lot of color in this chord. So then I'm going to C major, the 5 chord. With the bass on G, I have a classic Dorian sound here. If you want to get the Dorian sound, play the 5 chord and put the bass on the 2 chord. So now I got the root, I got the 4 or the 11, I got the 13 or the 6, and I got the root again. Then after this C major, I'm just going to put my pinky on the 10th fret of the B string, I got a 3 chord here, I got an A minor chord. And the only thing I did was going from the root, 8th fret of the B string, whole step up to the 9th, 10th fret of the B string. So now I have the 11, I have the 13, and I have the 9. So then after playing the 3 chord, all I do is go a whole step down to the 2 chord. Now I'm back in G. I have the flat 3, I got the 5th, and I got the root. It's the first inversion G minor. So if I put all that together, at the end I have this. 